All right, thanks for staying with us. Now, the seventh largest country in the world, Nigeria has Africa's highest caseload of depression and ranked 15th in the world um, in the frequency of suicide, according to the World Health Organization. There are less than 150 psychiatric uh, or psychiatrists, rather, in this country uh, of about 200 million people. I think it's over 250 right now. <laughs> and WHO also estimates that fewer than 10% of mentally ill Nigerians have access to the care they need. It's safe to say Nigerians are going through a lot. Mental oh. health um, care is in a sorry state given that we have more than 60 million Nigerians suffering from various mental illnesses and the fact that only about 10% of them were able to access appropriate care. So today we want to discuss mental health, the mental health of Nigerians, mental health of us, all of us here seated and our citizens amidst this economic um, situation and the poor living conditions that Nigerians are faced with. Now, please, let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 you can also tweet at us at Wayshow Africa One with the hashtag Wayshow. Like literally every day, I wake up and I'm having a headache. I do a little thing and I'm having a headache. Like um, there is the stress of Nigeria and there is the stress of Lagos. Lagos is on a whole new level of stress because, again, sometimes when I have very important things I need to do and I need to wake up early, I have to leave my house, say, 4 30. Yeah. I don't get back home till 11. That's a loan can take any 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 can take 10 years off my life so right now if you see me that i'm squeezing my face and i'm not smiling <laughs> manage me like that because mental health is real it like is it is real. really stressful but let me hear your thoughts Yola. how are you coping uh, how are you coping now come to you gloria and i come to ec not so i i think for me it is a function of um you know every day Whoever you talk to, the, the, the appropriate, what you would hear is, it is well. Mm. Or they try to invalidate whatever you're feeling. Or it's almost as if, oh, don't, don't make a mountain out of this mole. Everybody's feeling it. So please deal with it in your own way, you know. And that is even frustrating. So for me, it's so hard to even talk about my daily challenges because... Nobody really cares. Nobody mm. wants to listen. That's the truth. Mm. If I tell you my own and then you saddle me with your own, in fact, that is double. So it's just better to just Please keep quiet. Keep it, keep it, keep it. Keep it exactly. Let's move on to go. <laughs> <laughs> like she said, everyone is going through their. So most times people don't want to listen. I'll give a case in point. So this whole Naira note something, that? the thing here eh, has affected me. Hmm. Not in a way, but. I'll, let me give an example. So the first time I noticed we had to buy our own currency, I was not taking it. For the first time ever, so I'm, I'm with my brother at home and literally nothing he was doing made me happy. So he noticed um, the countenance change and he was trying to really like make me liven up, but nothing. And guess what? It did not end there. Even to the next day, I took it to the office. And at the point, I'm like, what's wrong with you? I had to sit back and be like, maybe is that something? <laughs> I was not asking, me, how can you buy? So you're working so hard. Mm. I literally, I work so hard, mental work. Then I have to now still stand in queue to get my money. Or if I want to go to Paris, I have to pay for my own money. I, th I was just like, what is really going on? Mm. Glory, are you sure this is the kind of life you want to live? You know, so all of that. Um, but then again, not everyone understands it. So even if um, I go and explain this to some people, just take it like, ah, that's a nice Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Deal nice. with it. <laughs> <laughs> you see, let me hear your thoughts. Well, what I have is I, I look at, look at it from the perspective of what Norma usually says. She said that, thank God we don't look like what we've been through, basically. Mm -hmm. And she has, she has said this repeatedly on the show. At, at some point, you might think it's just a cliche, but in actual fact, thank God we don't look like what we've been through. So the mental health thing is crucial right now for everybody. We have to be mindful of 
what we let into our space, basically. Mm. And I have tried to do, to do that to the best of my knowledge. But however, like I said earlier, I'm looking forward to what Tochi has to say about this mm -hmm. and to throw more light into what we can actually Absolutely. do to assuage what we are going through currently in Nigeria. Absolutely. And I think I really need to hear Tochi's thoughts because for me, I think... It's more brain work I do. Yeah. And like Glory said, I can resonate with that. That's why most times I have a headache. Because in my sleep, I'm still thinking. I'm waking up, I'm, I'm thinking. Mm. You know, I'm always with my laptop, with my whatever, correcting, doing this. There's a lot of work to be done. And you know, you now add that to your condition, your living conditions. Mm. It's just ridiculous. So that's why, again, like you, like you said, you know, you now begin to assess it. That, come, are you a stupid person? deciding to stay in this country again again you now speak to your friends that have left the country mm -hmm. and the, the things that we worry about mm -hmm. are not like they, 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 don't really yeah. Yeah. they can't, yeah. they can't yeah. relate yeah. anymore yeah. Yeah. my friend had just left which day to uk mm -hmm. to the uk mm -hmm. you know she's she also, she said she said well, if, if anything that lagos traffic mm -hmm. and her own she was now having issues water issues in her house oh. a brand new mm -hmm. house Caught a uh, landlord, landlord refused to do anything. You know, she had a newborn baby. You know, oh. it was just messy for her. So she said, I beg, I'm, she's so grateful that she left the country. So just imagine. So you'll not be thinking that, oh, come, are you sure you're not foolish? This is your patriotic, uh, this thing. Mm. You'll not reconsider it. Because that's the thing, you'll not start looking at yourself like, are you being foolish? But let me bring in Tochi. So she needs to help me out. So Tochi is a lifestyle transformation coach with a mission to make fitness a lifestyle and a part of our culture. She is the founder of the Excited Living Company, a wellness company with a mission to create awareness and education to help individuals live a wholesome experience. The Excited Living Company teaches a seven dimension to wellness approach. Um, Tochi has worked with several women to transform their physical and mental well-being through her life coaching and fitness accountability programs. Now, Tochi is passionate. She's a passionate writer, and she is. She runs a columnist for the Vanguard newspaper, and she's a friend of the house. And we're bringing her back again and again. <laughs> Thank you so much, Tochi, for joining us this evening. Thank you for having me. I mean, so this year we really want to concentrate and um, try to focus. I'm very, very focused on education and, and mental health wellness awareness, for our yeah. Wednesdays. Right? Yes. It's very important for us. We, we, we can't toil with it. We want to be able to stick to that and just keep pushing it. And, you know, I mean, we've been, you, you are not stranger to, to what is happening in yes, Nigeria. Yes, right? yes. First of all, like, is it okay for us to go through these things? Is it, like, like is, can, our, can our mental with the threshold i'm going to be mm -hmm, the english now mm -hmm. can we actually take the, the number of stress that nigeria is bringing to us so that in case i go mad uh -huh. i know that okay yes maybe it's, valid. it's okay it's valid. it's valid do you get because i don't understand so um uh, we're not supposed to be going through what we're going through and yes uh -huh. we can if we talk about threshold many people have maxed out and we saw the videos the, this last week. People are stripping in the banks. People are so frustrated. So I, this is not how we're supposed to live. And I keep saying that so people can be comfortable with feeling tired. You have to be okay with knowing that you are exhausted. Oh, no, you have to be okay with that. Yeah. This is not normal existence, and it shouldn't be so. So you're talking about you not having the, sometimes just the desire to work. Like, there's no light. There is no... Um, now there's no food because you can't buy food. Like, ugu for yeah. now. You can't buy ugu because there's no cash. So it is, it's fair for Nigerians to understand and accept that they are exhausted and they should be and can be exhausted. However, because your mental health does not respect your location. Yeah. Hi. Say it again. It doesn't respect your location. Yeah. Like you still have to find coping strategies to get past what we're going through. So we have to talk about how we can cope. Let's talk about things that we can do that we can move forward. For one, one thing I've done in this season is to limit interactions with strangers or new people. Because oh. even last time I went to buy Bali and I parked by my plantain. And I told the lady, I'm taking that one. No. She said, okay. There was a guy standing there. She asked the guy, is that your Bali? He said, no, I'm, nobody's taking that one. So I said, okay, I'll take that. And she was about to wrap it, like maybe like three minutes later when the body was ready. <laughs> I said, oh God, they asked you. 
I just remember, you know what, this guy, I don't know where he's coming from, I don't know what he's going through. I said, give him. I'll wait for another one. Mm. So it's knowing when not to even respond. Mm. Recognizing that many, many people are... Triggers. Everywhere. They just everywhere it's just, yeah. just being released in different places. Mm. So yes, we have to understand that people are going through stuff. And as much as we are allowed to be tired and exhausted, we have to take some steps to, to, to manage. And I think, yeah, avoiding confrontation, avoiding... Mm. you know conversations that you know can lead there yeah. in traffic now there's no point to make a point that mm. somebody caught you in traffic yeah. mm. people are really upset and i think it's, it's one of those things that we can do for ourselves yeah to manage and limit conversations confrontations if you don't have to leave your house honestly maybe don't if you Absolutely. don't have to maybe don't as well but i always talk about exercise oh my god is it possible to talk about life without exercise we need to go for walks. We need to go outside the house. But honestly, we are not supposed to be experiencing a level of turmoil we are. And I want to say to Nigerians watching, you are allowed to be exhausted. Mm -hmm. you, you really are. Okay. I, I, it doesn't matter. You, you are allowed. Let us mm -hmm. soak this in yes. for like two seconds. Mm -hmm. We'll go out on a break. We'll come back yes. and I'll come to your deal and glory <laughs> and easy for your questions. Stay with us. We'll be right back. All right, so if you just tuned in, we're discussing Nigeria today and we're discussing uh, mental health, right? The mental health of our citizens. And we have with us Tochio Kapo. Now, please let's share what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081 803 You can also tweet at us at Wayshow Africa One with the hashtag Wayshow. All right, so um, Jola, I'll come to you, then I'll come to Glory. And okay, so Tochi. Yes. Um, I hear you when you say that um, it's okay to say that, you know, I'm, at, I, I'm maxed out. But the question is, who do you want to say it to? Even if you say it to yourself, there is the, you, you have to go on living. You are accountable or answerable to different moving parts. So I think that, so my question to you is, do you think honestly that, um, mental health in nigeria is a subject we're comfortable talking about i mean every day we hear oh nigerians we, we make a joke of it and we say oh we have a very high resilience we're very strong people we're very you know all that and then when you say to someone i'm tired it feels like Pardon me, let me say it in Yoruba. Kilo mm -hmm. Like, what, what is wrong with you? <laughs> what have you done that somebody else has not done? You understand? So, every day that we... we I, I keep thinking that we find a way, we repress so many things and just find a way to just keep piling and piling. At what point do we even... Are we allowed to even say it out to other people? Mm -hmm. Not just to ourselves, mm -hmm. to other people and say, you know what, it is in, I'm, I'm done right mm -hmm. here. And I need you to help me. I need you to make things easy for me. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, so I, I think that is very fundamental for me, you know. So when it comes to mental health, to be honest, it's a new concept for us mm -hmm. as a people. We, we haven't been allowed to, even as a child, growing up in the, in the Nigerian household, we start to be less comfortable with expressing ourselves really young. Mm. Because as a young person in a home, we don't really have a voice. True. You're being shut down, you're being shut down. That's the standard practice. So even when, I don't know how many young girls sat down with their mom and expressed boyfriend conversations or, you know, all those kind of yeah. intimate conversations. So mental health now is, is in that line of conversation because it is seen as a weakness. Mm which it is not and should not be. So to answer your question, you, it's you holding yourself accountable for what you feel and knowing that what you feel is valid. You finding able to express it to is now a different concern. You might not have people in your circle that would understand. So I would recommend that you seek help because if you're really tired in a way that you're losing pleasure for life, maybe you're not getting up you know, don't feel like getting out of bed in the morning. That's really going into a, a space of depression. 
it is time to look for somebody that will understand and listen to you. But I find that most of our friends, if you look in your circle, there's someone that, that understands and you, can, and you can speak to. Mm -hmm. But aside from that, we are all coming from a place of being conditioned a certain way. Mental health is still a... Alien to us. Yeah. Yes, yeah. it is alien to us. So, okay. Yes. Sorry. Permit me, <coughs> I don't just have one question. Yeah, <laughs> <I'm sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you talked about exercise. Yes. Um, not everyone has, I, I know even before we came on live, we're talking about it, I'm like, oh, exercise. Yes. I, I know there was one time I wanted to do, um, join a gym, and I was like, what, what do you want to exercise? What, what is it about you? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm not exercise. So I, there are little things I do, but I wouldn't really necessarily call it exercise. So for some of us who cannot exercise, which um, according to what you said, solves about 90% solves about of the mental or something, how do we help ourselves in such a situation? So I think let me just say exercise is a form of movement, right? Mm -hmm. The core of mental health, what, what has been proven to work is movement. So if you don't have to, you don't have to be at a gym, okay. but you can do stuff that takes your mind away from what you're thinking through, but engages the body. There are over a hundred like types dancing. of workouts. You yeah. can just put on music mm -hmm. here and start dancing. Mm -hmm. That is a movement. So maybe not use exercise to limit yourself, but move, move intentionally. Your move your body. Intentionally. You know, burn some sweat. Because mm -hmm. uh, sweating detoxifies you as well. It mm -hmm. helps the whole process. Mm -hmm. So, so my think next question is about um, anxiety. Okay. So um, something happened some time ago. A friend of mine, I just noticed she suddenly got overwhelmed up. And she was shaky, and you know, I wasn't really understand. But I think I've read a shallow, shallow about anxiety. Yeah. Sort of, um, it's anxiety, fear. Because sometimes, whenever I talk about, and some people just say, "Oh, stop being afraid." Mm. Do you get? So, it's, and is is it deeper than being afraid? What is anxiety really about when it comes to mental health? Your anxiety is deeper than fear. It's actually a disorder. Okay. There's anxiety disorders, and it's. It can be traced as far back as a traumatic incident that happens many years ago that hasn't been healed from or hasn't been talked about. If there are triggers that remind you of that event, it can lead to anxiety. So anxiety is not just fear. It's fear is part of it, but it's also an actual it's disorder. Than it's deeper than fear. Mm. It's deeper than fear. And that needs, if you, I have a friend that mm. has, you know, high level anxiety. She does moment. have that. So that's not fear. Mm. It's a trigger of a traumatic incident that you haven't sometimes you're not even you don't even know what the incident is which is when you see a therapist it's, it's buried yeah. in your yeah. Yeah. Deep, yeah. deep 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 so there would just be something that would bring it out and you wouldn't even yes know. you wouldn't even wonder what is going on yeah. what is going on yeah mm. let me come to easy then i'll come back to your further question <laughs> <laughs> Isi, please go ahead. Hi, Tucci. Hi, nice Isi. To again. Nice to see you again. Long time. <laughs> no, see, no, yeah. Okay, one quick one, yeah. Uh, what's your take on this? Because you, you've talked about exercise being paramount in the uh, in the being the core of of um, mental health. What's your take on uncertainty and the positives? especially when you have to be mindful mm -hmm. of what you're going through so how do they correlate so what how, how do does uncertainty start? and what correlate i didn't get the other word how uh, if we've talked about different things correct yeah. what i'm looking at now is uncertainty yes and speaking to the positives in the midst of the negatives right basically okay. so how we um, absorb this um, situation in terms of being mindful of absorbing the positives in this context. It's interesting. Um, I watched a therapist speak to his clients, or he did it on air, and there are things that we have to accept that would never disappear. Like this situation with the Naira now and the stresses that we're feeling until things change there will be that nervousness and anxiety in the environment. Yeah. So you can't live above your environment sometimes. You can sure. try in your mind, but it's, it's, it's still a tricky one. Uncertainty, I remember the, the therapist was saying, one of the tools you must have to fight uncertainty is high level gratefulness. Mm. Because uncertainty is what life is. Whether we're going to be... You're not sure what happens tomorrow. The you next don't minute. You, the next minute. You're the not next sure. second. So what you... For you to fight that, 
is to do what you can do just every day to moment. progress. Live in the be moment. Be grateful. Be grateful and s let the things that are working be your be more of your focus than the things that you want to mm. accomplish. Because mm. I find that uncertainty is not is basically living in the future in the future because you don't know what tomorrow brings and all of that and it, it now brings up the anxiety yeah. you know it, it's interesting how you're talking about gratitude because i decided that this year i don't know for some strange reason yeah this year i wake up every morning the first thing i put on my status grateful. is grateful <laughs> i do that deliberately yes. telling god that you know what whatever it is whatever i'm going through whatever the situation whether i'm on ground zero i'm grateful that i can even wake up to type it you know and i think you know what that has done for me no. this is the year that i have had so many things happening all at the same, same time. time right so for some strange reason it's like nothing is happening because it just you know it has elevated my spirit above what i can see what i can feel you know so i don't know uh how do we start to let people you know because again, there was a time Oprah was talking about her gratitude journal or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, these things are principles that work. But people are not, people are very, very conscious of what is going wrong. Mm. What is not happening right. What is this? What is that? And they forget the million and one things that is happening and it is going smoothly. Mm. Right? So how do we bring people out of that consciousness? I'll take, for instance, this Naira thing. Yes. You know that... Some of these people that go to queue mm -hmm. on a normal day, they, don't they, don't they will not go to the yes. bank and draw money. True. Let me let me address that quickly. <laughs> a, our culture mm -hmm. is we we thrive on panic. Panic. So yeah. that first of all yeah. is a problem. Do you get? Yeah. Yes. I know someone that I asked. Ah, what are you, what are, you know my housekeeper? What what, what are you doing in the bank? Ah, because everybody's queuing. <laughs> don't, don't I don't want them to finish my money. Like, <laughs> no, you are in the queue in the sun. Jesus so and your money is not going to finish. They will not, be, even they will not the be there. Yeah. But because of the uncertainty that Isi talked about, yes. that is in the air, they are not sure what happens tomorrow. It brings the anxiety. Yeah. It brings the panic. It brings all the all the energies and you the negative you energy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because I have been going cashless for a very long time. Anybody that knows me, if you see money in my hand, know that that money will go. That it's, is because it's for something. I hardly have cash with me. Mm. So I have done this cashless thing that happened in my head a long time ago. Yeah. Mm. So when I see people panicking because of cash, cash, not that I don't have money to transfer or whatever. Mm. I told you I went to the market. I just went at, to collect everybody's account number yes. so that there will not be issues. Y yes. And by the time I go to my, my office, I sat down on my laptop, transferred money to all of them. Oh yeah, go and collect the loan. Because that is, that's I, my I bought oranges with transfer. Do you get my like, point? Yes. So how do we start to now Make infuse shift. that shift? Mm. Let people begin to push away from what they cannot control. Yeah. Because now, the way I live, I live, it is what I can control. Yes. Yeah. I can't control how you think about me. Mm. I can't control how you perceive me. Yeah. I can't control anything. The only mm. thing I can control is how I perceive you, True. how I see you, how I relate with you. So how do we get people, more people, into that bracket? Because I believe with that, it will help us, you know, deal with some of the mental stress that we go through. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, a few, I think it was last year, I was in the same, you know, I think as, a, as an entrepreneur in Nigeria, we are forced to live in that space of uncertainty so mm. much. Yeah. Especially if you're building your own business, right? Um, you, are, you are easily pushed in that bracket. I wouldn't say you are forced. You're easily pushed. And I came up with, the, I came up with the, a, a, the way I wanted to live. And I said, peace is the foundation on which prosperity is built. The truth is that to make that shift, you consciously first have to start with the journaling. You have to start with the, 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 the tactics or the tricks of the trade in the initial stages. You have to learn to catch yourself and breathe. Mm -hmm. It's actually, there's a work. Yeah. Before it becomes a habit, it's first a work. Mm. It's first something you have to do intentionally, which would, you'd have to generally fight. It's not a natural thing to you. Mm. So it's unnatural for you to be, to live in the moment. But you have to start with that. Gratitude and being grateful. Like the, one of the therapists I listened to would say, once you start feeling pressure, stress, quickly count three things they are, are grateful, grateful for, for now. Mm. Now, 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 now. Mm. Once you do that, it calms you down. Mm. It makes you feel like, okay, it's not so bad. If you can count even one thing, it's not so bad. 
it's not so bad. And in a, in, in, a, in a few minutes, you would feel a bit more relaxed. I started to do that also with breath work. Breath work is very powerful. When you feel anxiety, just stop and breathe. Do it five times. You would start to question, why was I panicking before? You know, the biggest thing is the, the work in the initial stages. All those sages that, that give us all these nuggets. It took years to get there. The initial work is, you know, being in the moment. And like I said, it's a, okay, I'm feeling a bit, I'm feeling stressed. What am I grateful now? Okay, I'm alive. <sighs> As you're saying it. Yes, you just, <laughs> you just start breathing better. So mm -hmm. I think that's the first stage Absolutely. is to just become conscious of the fact that some things are working. Count one or two mm. and take it from there. Awesome. Let's take comments quickly. Yes. Um, then because we're running out of time. Let's take comments. Yola, you there? Yes. Um, this one says, good evening, ladies and ways. Please, Ua, kindly tell management to increase the one-hour program to one and a half <laughs> hours to enable us <laughs> ventilate. I you also it. started street, um, street Vox Pop when you returned from Christmas break, have you dropped the idea? Yeah. Back to today's topic. My take is that mental health issue is unfortunately not taken seriously because of lack of informed knowledge and fear of stigma stigmatization. I'm not an expert, but the best therapy is to avoid triggers by changing environment, avoid heated arguments, walk away from toxic relationships temporarily, and try yoga. God bless you. This is Austin nice. from Delta. Nice, Austin. Mm. Sorry, Box Pop is still very much on. Don't worry. <laughs> we are still with you, people. But for the one hour, 30 minutes, <laughs> people, I, my mental health. <laughs> I know, right? Daniel Alu says, um, Good evening, my beautiful ladies of what are you saying? It says, Your guest is just on point. Honestly speaking, without any shadow of doubt, your mental health does not respect your location. Mm. That is the plain mm. truth. When you think about the stress in Nigeria, when there is no light, the traffic system in Nigeria is a total nightmare. The increase in fuel and diesel, and the recent one leaving Nigerian cashless, it's enough reason for someone to lose it mentally. God will help us in Nigeria, so that our me God will help us in Nigeria, so that our mental health will come back to normal. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. All right, Isi, you have a final comment, and we. Okay, this says, good evening to everyone. Average Nigerians are suffering mentally. The originator of all these are government officials mm. and politicians of, um, uh, of politicians' self-interest. There's a typo here. If government policies are, are implemented orderly, there will be less mentally challenged people in the society. Mm. Period. Yeah. So, yeah. Tochi, because mm -hmm. we know Nigeria is unique. Very. Uniquely crafted to stress the <laughs> mental health. <laughs> I mean, oh, really, Nigeria, yeah. is, Nigeria is pure cruise, honestly. It is. You know, so while, the, while there are things that stresses you out, we then go to the content creator sections of for Nigeria. So you don't see a lot of my, my my watch is telling me take a minute to breathe. I will breathe. I'm <laughs> <laughs> the watch is right. The watch is telling me oh, to breathe, right? So I mean, so how do we mix this balance, right? Um, just in like just to wrap up the conversation, like in a minute. What do you think, right? Yes, we have issues in Niger the, the our situation, we but do. our mental health is still very much important. So if you had one thing to say to Nigerians watching. You know, what would you say? I would say that be comfortable with feeling overwhelmed. Like, don't feel like you're lazy or you're not hard. You're not, um, what's the word? You don't have, the word resilience has been thrown around so much as yeah. though yeah. it's a badge of honor. Mm. We're not supposed to be resilient in every day. <laughs> like, no, <laughs> that's not English, but you know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, it, it's okay for you to feel overwhelmed. But I would say look for a friend or a place you can go and detoxify. Mm. Mm. And it has to be, some, let it be something healthy, please, you mm. know. So, yes, but be, oh, be, be comfortable with feeling the way that you do feel. This mm. is not a normal experience. We shouldn't have to go through this every day. Absolutely. But we are here and we, like I said earlier, the mental, your mental health does not respect your environment. Absolutely. So, yes. Thank you so much. I think we've had a fantastic conversation. Yeah. Thank yes. you, ladies. Thank you, Isi. Thank you, Diola. Thank you, Glory.
it's, you know, it's so interesting how more people are taking to alcohol, drugs, yes. and all yes. that. That's why I said something healthy. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's why she said something healthy. Healthy, yeah. healthy, yeah. Don't it's say you want to go, I want to <laughs> take out stress. You go sit down for beer pal. No. Yellow. Yeah, yellow. <laughs> Just I said my own. Name. Watch ways. Watch ways will calm you down. Okay? Thank you so much for watching. Now, before we go, follow us across all our social media handles at Way Show Africa. You can interact with us further. Drop a comment and most importantly, follow all our engagements. Uh, like, share, and invite your families and friends to watch and follow the conversation. Now, if you missed our quote for today, here it is again. There is hope even when your brain tells you there isn't. I mean, just know that there is hope. We'll see you guys live at 8 p.m. tomorrow as we bring another great conversation to your screen. Ciao.